At first glance, this shape might look tricky, but it's actually simpler than it seems. We're looking for the area of the shaded region, that little sliver sitting between a triangle and a curved arc. Our job is to break it down bit by bit until we can work out exactly how much space that shaded part takes up. Let's zoom out and look at the bigger picture. If we place the shape into a larger frame, we can see it as a combination of two familiar shapes, a square and a circle, both with side length A. The circle is inscribed inside the square. It just touches all four sides. We'll keep the full solution parked for now, but we're starting to see the structure we can use. Now let's cut this larger shape, square and circle, into eight identical triangles. Just draw lines from the center outward, like slices of a pizza. Each of those slices contains a straight edge and a curved one. And the shaded region we're trying to find it's part of just one of those eight slices. That means once we find the area for one slice, we'll understand the whole pattern. Now let's zoom in on just one of those eighths. That single slice can be broken into two, a triangle and a circular arc. The shaded region is the part between them. So if we take the area of the triangle, and subtract the area of the arc, we're left with the area of the shaded region, just for this one slice. Let's handle the triangle first. This triangle makes up one eighth of the full square. So if the area of the full square is side squared, that's A squared, then the triangle's area is one eighth times A squared. Now for the curved part the arc. This arc is also one eighth of the full circle, and the area of a full circle is pi times radius squared. The radius here is a over two because the circle is inscribed inside the square. So radius equals a divided by two. Area of the full circle is pi times a over two squared. Arc area is one eighth of that. Now we put it all together. The area of the shaded region is the area of the triangle minus the area of the arc. That's one eighth of A squared minus one eighth of pi times A over two squared. We factor out the one eighth and simplify. Then we plug in a value for A if needed, or leave it in terms of A for a general solution. And there it is. The shaded region, that thin space between the triangle and the arc, is the difference between one eighth of the square and one eighth of the circle. We broke a complex shape into familiar parts and used geometry to reveal the answer. 